So this brings us to the Canadian federal election of 2015. Um, so let's just talk about this a bit. So we have Stephen Harper, who's still Prime Minister and has been Prime Minister since, I think it's 2008? Yeah, I think, two, I forget if it's 2008 or 2004. Uh, let me just check. Uh, since 2006, he's been Prime Minister. So almost 10 years now. Uh, the longest serving Conservative Prime Minister since John A. Macdonald, I believe. Um... And he is heading. We are heading into the um, 2015 election um, with a strong NDP and a strong NDP. The Bloc Québécois has basically ceased to exist, and we have a new uh, party that that is seeking to replace them. So, um, if we look at the the seats at dissolution, we have the Conservatives with 166, the New Dems at 103 and the Liberals at 34. Uh, the, there's also a couple seats minor parties have, but no one cares about that. Um, so the Liberal Party of Canada has this guy, the shiny pony himself, Justin Trudeau, who was a, um, a part-time um, substitute drama teacher uh, before becoming uh, a premier, before becoming the leader of a national party. Um, he has a Bachelor of Arts degree in Literature from McGill. Um, yeah, French and Math teacher. Apparently he studied, um, in engineering. I don't know. He's just, he's just a massive tool. Um, he was basically, he's basically the Canadian Obama. I know I've said that about a couple of people, but it's really true. Um, he... He just did a bunch of dildo stuff, a bunch of, um, like, advocacy, community organization stuff. He's never really had a real job. He was, like, a part-time substitute teacher. He actually got really bad performance reviews, from what I recall, because he just lectured, gave pretentious left-wing lectures to his kids. He's an absolutely terrible speaker. He's a good-looking guy, but he's just, he's just the ultimate vacuous SJW Swipple. So, I hate everything about him, but because this is Canada, his complete lack of, um, of personality and complete lack of, um, uh, personal qualifications meant that his party went from about 20% in the polls, uh, to the grand heights of about 40%, but now they're going back down again. So literally, the Canadian public is so dumb... Uh, and I talked about Trudeau earlier. He's the guy who ruined Canada. Um, the people are literally so fucking stupid that they um, dramatically raised their um, support for him um, just because his name was Trudeau. Um, so going into the election, uh, we have the Conservatives at, um, let's see here, the most recent poll, uh, at about 28%, the NDP at about 39%, although that's an outlier. Uh, if we look at past polls, generally speaking, the Conservatives and NDP and Liberals are pretty close, depending on the poll. Um, most polls will tend to have the Conservatives in a plurality. Um, the, the Conservatives and NDP are about between 30 and 32% each. And the Liberals are about 25 to 30. So the Liberals are significantly less. Um, they may pick up a few seats, but at this point in time, it doesn't look like they're going to form the government. Um, the real race is between the NDP and the Conservatives. Um, Harper was able to just, uh, through a series of attack ads, um, beat down Justin Trudeau, portray him to be the fool that he was. And just, just, just beat the living shit out of him. And that seems to have worked, and that's that eroded the massive lead the Liberals have. The problem is now we have the NDP uh, going up against the Conservatives. And I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Um, I don't think the NDP can win. Because uh, the NDP have never had much luck getting seats across Canada. Um, they may increase their share of the vote in, like, Quebec. Let me look at this. Sorry. 
So let's see, the NDP here have um, uh, thirty percent of the popular vote. Okay, so let's see what what was their vote in um, the different provinces. Uh, let's see, in Ontario they got twenty two percent. Yeah, almost all those new votes came from Quebec. So, if we look at their thing by province, oh, sorry, vote, not seats. Um, yeah, they got a lot of vote in Quebec, uh, a lot of vote in uh, some small, minor provinces. Uh, the Conservatives have a pretty insurmountable lead, though, um, in Ontario, in the Western Canada. Even if the NDP increased at 5 to 10%, they aren't going to significantly move the seat totals around. Uh, the Liberals might be able to win a couple seats back in Ontario, but I don't know. The, the, the Tories have a pretty good uh, lead. Um, keep in mind, the Tories have virtually none of their votes in Quebec. Um, the Liberals, yeah. So the Tories before got 39% of the popular vote. And they're currently pulling around, what did I say they were pulling at? 30%? Um, so that's not terrible. They need to, if they can even get 33%, uh, they should probably still be able to hang on to power. Uh, let me see, where's opinion polls? I, I don't believe that poll, that's too much of an outlier. Uh, okay, so they, they got 38%. Some polls show them up around that. Most of them show them about 33, 34, 35. So if that's any indication, um, given, let's see, how did they do in uh, 2011? I mean, not 2011, 2008. Yeah, so they got about that much. So they're pulled about 33%. Uh, they were able to form a minority government with... Uh, 37 percent a couple years ago so they're not too far off from that um their voting's a lot more concentrated in useful areas um plus there's a lot more vote splitting going on with the liberals this time so yeah the liberals got about uh 26 percent of the vote back then um the ndp virtually all their pickup votes are from quebec so my expectation is probably the conservatives will get about 140 again uh, the Liberals may pick up a couple, but not too many. Um, the Bloc will... the um, Basically, if you just merge those two and give a bit of that to that, um, that's pretty much what's going to happen. Um, my prediction is a conservative minority government. Um, I don't see a anything else. The only other alternative is a... Uh, liberal NDP coalition government, which is almost certainly going to be possible, but for a number of political reasons, I don't believe that's going to happen. Uh, so you heard it here first. My personal prediction is the election 2015 is going to be a liberal NDP, uh, sorry, is going to be a conservative minority. Now, on that note, um, people have asked me why I don't care about this election. Um, because it's a bit like what Millennial Woes was saying about the British election. If this was just going to be some business-as-usual kind of boring election about some minor issues, then it, it, I would care. But it's not. It's, it's about the fate of the country. Um, Canada has been transformed into something beyond recognition to my generation, and I'm only 24. Uh, when I grew up, this country used to be where I used to live used to be like 99% white and now it's like 40%. Uh, Toronto is now only like 40% white or something. It's um, transformed rapidly. Uh, you can't even speak English in, in large portions of Ontario anymore. Um, it's just, it's all just been taken from me. Um, we have gay marriage now. We have dildo shit all over the place. Uh, they might bring back hate speech laws. And the Conservatives have had four years of basically limitless power to try and fix some of these things and they've done pretty much absolutely nothing uh, they haven't enacted any socially conservative policies they haven't stopped or slowed immigration 
They haven't balanced the budget. They haven't really delivered on any of their promises. The only good thing they did was they shut down some of the uh, hate crimes legislation and stopped some of the monitoring of uh, hate speech on the internet. And that's pretty much the only good thing they did. Other than that... They were basically just a massive waste of time. Um, there's an old expression that uh, one British politician said to John Major. Uh, you give the impression of being in office but not being in power. And that means that while they may hold office, may they, while they may technically form the government, they have no ability to influence society and no ability to change things or enforce their will. And that's Stephen Harper. And if we give him another majority and we give him any number of majorities, he won't do anything with power. He'll just keep wasting away his time trying to be a moderate, trying to be um, everybody's friend, etc. People in Canada have some idea that Stephen Harper is some kind of fascist. And while he seems to be obsessed with passing domestic spying and crime bills, by and large he's just kind of a middle-of-the-road, moder middle moderate, bland, ballless leader. And that's the last thing we need. We need someone radical. We need someone who's willing to fight. Stephen Harper may be a cunning man. He may be a smart man. He may even be a competent man. But he's not courageous. He's not ideological. He's not com commit committed to anything, really, as far as I can determine, except staying in power. And while I will vote for him, because frankly there's no other choice, I don't like him, and I don't like his party, and I don't like what they represent. Just corporatist, um, selling out Canada um, for a dime, selling us out to international organizations, big business, uh, foreign investors. Um, he bragged about bringing more immigrants and imposing more affirmative action on us. So why am I voting for him? Because there's no one else to vote for. Am I going to vote for this, this weirdo? Am I going to vote for the shiny pony? I guess I could throw away my vote and vote for the Christian Heritage Party. Um, if they were running in my district, I actually was kind of considering maybe doing that. But they don't run anywhere. Um, so I guess I could vote for Strength and Democracy or some other dildo force. But I don't know. I'd actually vote for the Bloc Quebecois if they were running in my writing. At least they're kind of like a nationalist party, even if they're for some, some other sort of um, nationalism than mine. Oh, wait, they're super dildo, too. Never mind that. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to vote for the Conservative Party. I really don't want to, though. They've done nothing to earn my vote. They're a useless, bland, ballless party that lies to their voters and sells cannon out to international corporations. And yet, of the options presented, they're the least bad option. So I guess I'll vote for them, because they're the ones least likely to arrest me. This is Arkin Templar, signing out.